Symmetric cryptographic systems include, Data Encryption Standard, Triple DES, International Data Encryption Algorithm, Blowfish, Skipjack, and Advanced Encryption Standard. Blowfish is an alternative to the vulnerable DES system, that operates on 64 bits of text as well. It allows for a variable length key that ranges from 32 bits to 448 bits. Blowfish is considered to be faster than DES and IDEA, and is made available to the public. Skipjack operates on 64 bits of text too, but uses 80 bit keys. It allows four modes of operation that are supported by DES. This system was not widely adopted due to the ability of US government agencies to reconstruct the keys. In 2001, the advanced encryption standard was mandated by the American National Institute of Standards and Technology as the replacement of DES. This new standard was also referred to as the Rheindahl standard, supports the use of three key lengths of 128 bits, 192 bits, and 256 bits. AES allows the processing of 128 bits blocks of text, and performs a number of encryption rounds that corresponds to the lengths of the key. Since the security of the crypto system has shifted from the security of the algorithm to the security of the key, the management of symmetric keys should be carefully considered. Since the key is used for both encrypting and decrypting messages, then both communicating entities should have a copy of the key. This situation presents the issue of having to distribute the key, and to ensure a secure key communication, three methods are used. The first method is simply exchanging the keys physically or offline, in the form of a paper or storage media which contain the key. The apparent problem with this method is if the key gets compromised on the way or after it has been received. The second method is using public key encryption, which allows the communicating entities to confirm their identities over unsecure media. The third method is by using the Diffie-Hellman algorithm, which involves a series of mathematical procedures that would result in both entities having the same key. The security of the key should be maintained at all times, and not just during its transmission. Some best practices exist that could be followed such as, never storing the keys on the same system as the data, considering dividing the key into parts and entrusting each part to a different entity, and changing the keys when someone who has knowledge of the keys has left the organization. Escrow services could be considered, where third parties could be entrusted with the keys or the mechanisms to retrieve the keys. Due to the constant increase in processing power, changing the keys on a regular basis is a recommended practice, and even the crypto system itself should be considered for change if vulnerabilities have been detected.